Look at these and Jen, welcome back to another Ooh. Celtic transfer, transfer talk. talk? Yeah. Summer transfer talk video with Lewis today. Um, I was in self isolation for a while. Yes, he's back. And he's, just to tell you guys, he has tested negative. Just so that I you tested know, negative yeah. all four yeah. times I've tested myself. Um, so. And also, um, today's video is summer transfer talk. We're going to be talking about George Ballack and also a player from Manchester City. It is. Why him? Ko Akatura. Potential, his name, yeah. But we're going to talk about George uh, Baldock, Baldock first. Uh, he's been linked with Celtic over the weekend there. Uh, English right back and he's signed another nightmare of season. I mean, in the Premier League, and we're sitting packing from the top flight with games to spare. Um, Baldock, like the rest of his teammates, had a season to forget, and the boys. Um, they proved uh, the stats prove it. So we'll look at the stats. Stats report on Celtic's latest turn from uh, George Baldock. If you want. Uh, so he isn't very defensive. He commits a lot of fouls. Yeah. We used to have Scott Brown to get away with that. And he's he no he barely gets any interceptions. He doesn't pass. Not very adventurous. And he's good at dribbling though. Yeah, but, but if he's not very passive. Mm -hmm. It's basically another Sheffield United, uh, mm. another Duffy kind of way, you know, in the way. Um, we need ready made first team players, and we uh, certainly need a trustworthy right back. Is Baldock a visible, no. a viable, sorry, candidate? No. No. Uh, the argument will be obviously English Premier League is much higher mm. standard, and he's been left exposed by a horrible front line. However, for a team who are under the cosh for long periods of the game, the defenders surely <laughs> have had more interceptions and tackles won. It seems like a middle of the road signing, perhaps someone who can do a job, but is newer. Oh, finish water. No, uh, but is never going to excel for the club. Um, we've not actually had an all-around right back since Mika Lustig left the club two years ago. Jimmy Frimpong was more an attacking threat, as we were speaking like later videos last year. Hmm. Talk me, he has to play right wing, of course, because right wing is mainly his thing. Like, if you ask me, I think Baldo, if he has signed, he should know he's coming in to be the rotation. Yeah, I the think we should just play Ralston. He's proven himself. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, Ralston is good. I mean, uh, and when I was reacting to all that and post, like he should never play in Europe, though, yeah. Ralston. But he's, you know, his first really. press conference, um, he post Goggle was speaking about he wants to, he wants young players yeah. to improve at Celtic Park. It's always game. So whether we see, you know, Ralston coming yeah. into the right back position, but I think we need more experience. Oh, Connell, can he play? Like, uh, like Not too sure. Back? He did play for Queens Park. Ranger, no, mm. the Queen's Park, Scotland. Uh, and then we've got a guy from Sheffield Wednesday. Yep. Uh, um. Yeah, Liam, Liam Shaw. Uh, yeah, centre back. Yeah. Uh, um, if this is true, I definitely think like you and Henderson and that they can do a job. Yeah. Also, please, for the for God, play Hazard. Celtic are considering a move for Man City's Co. Aka Akura. According to reports. Oh, okay. Japanese international spent the best part of eighteen months on loan at the Dutch uh, Eredivis outfit FC. Groningen. Where he has ma is managed yes. fifty seven appearances during two stints. Hmm. What do you think about that? Was I don't know what he is. Is he a is he a striker? Don't, don't know. know. Let's him up. He is um a defender. No, is it? He is a defender. Hmm. So potential because obviously Ayer is more likely realistically uh, than leaving the club. Aye, uh, him and um. Julian's getting back to fitness, uh, so we'll see him back for potential uh, early the season. Um, Welsh obviously there as well. Um, it's it's not the sign I would go for. Again, well, this video is not about Lee Griffiths, but Lewis, what do you make on Lee Griffiths potentially getting a new contract from Man's Postecoglou? Why is it? Mm. What do you think he deserves another chance, another one? The thing is, on his day when he is finally fit, yeah, I'd say he's the best striker in the league. I'd say he's actually better than Edward. But considering he can, for a quick mo for a lot of seasons, yeah. he can't play. Then he has a couple of months where he's unreal. He's going to take us, win us quite a few games. Yeah. But then the next season, it's back to square one. Yeah. I obviously, mean, I know you had the mental issues, but yeah. at a certain point, you can't just. Yeah. And also, um, obviously, Lennon, after he left, he's on the radio and he was speaking about uh, Griffiths, like the, the two are still arguing, basically, because obviously he was saying, he was making his point where he came back after three months of lockdown, mm. fully paid. All totally unfit, didn't follow the plan. I get that, right? Uh, Which is you, you're getting paid full money and uh, you're still, you know, you're not keeping to the fitness. I, I, that's the point. Yeah, I get you're getting that. paid to do it. But then there is a point where like Griffiths was Luke Griffiths was coming back, like when the title was already over, uh, and yeah, but he, he just, deserved. But he, he said that he was fully fit. Uh, but Lennon said he wasn't fit. So the two were arguing, saying. Uh, 
And then last season, obviously, he can he just yeah, blow his brains out. Yeah. So yeah, uh, he's not the most consistent player, which obviously doesn't give you all the confidence in the yeah. world. But when he is, yeah. It's, I mean, if he if he knows that he's not going to play mm. a lot, and if he doesn't have like a big contract, good. yeah. Well, there's also before we end the video, guys. It's still going to be on the title again, but um, we're also getting some transfer like reports from yeah. South America again. Obviously, we had lax out from South America, of course, uh, last he's, season. He's off to Dinamo Zagreb. Yep. Um, which I think works for Arcos. If you get another, I say if you get another lax out, I think no, because on his day sometimes, yeah. yeah. But he's not he's not defensive. He's a he's left mid, isn't he? Uh, he's Moza like uh, from Pong, yeah. just with worse defending and yeah. a better attack. Yeah. Um the thing is, he's good but he needs like a certain system. Yeah. Um uh, it's like Julian Regal. Yeah. He was horrible unless you had him in a certain system. But he's been Benfica's best player in this year. There you go. So um so it's gonna be interesting obviously signings comes out as a post Also yeah. a big big plus I like he doesn't say he's going to be the best manager around right? that's another point right but he said that he's going to take his his background team day by day uh, I like that about a manager he's not always sitting uh, back and accepting that uh, John Kennedy and Gavin Stratton are going to be his manager he, he's assistant uh, managers as soon as Gavin pulls the, uh, pulls the iPad out right you uh, are we doing under um, what's the point of the iPad he always has it out I think he's just playing Candy Crush or Formsville on that bad oh. boy. Uh, right, um, right, guys, uh, that's just some chance to talk for you. I need some stats. How's the team doing? Uh, just let me finish this level of Candy Crush. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, your support's been great. Can we get to 1.4? We're on 1035 subs, so if we can get there by the end of the week, great. I'll see you guys this next video. This has been very, very good.